Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the INO, M-I-G-H-T. Hi. Hi, Jonas. I'm What's- very enthused. Was that enthused? Yeah, you know why? Why? Because it's the 100th episode. Oh, shit. We did it. We did we it. We made it. We, this ain't the real 100th, though. It is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on our 100th episode hey, of the Crazy hey, Town Party. Oh, it's all crazy. It's okay. um, forgot- yeah, we did it. Uh, we made it. We never thought we would. Aren't we all happy about it? Dude, I'm glad that you at home could make this journey with us and you that we it. could journey here together. Yeah, we're glad and- that you joined us as always. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. Subscribe there. We have gaming videos. They're, they're true to life. This is not the end of our journey. It is not, dude. We're going to have the 1,000th episode spectacular eventually. But also, follow us on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere else you can find uh, podcasts, Spa, SoundCloud. That's another place you can find us. Yeah, all over, dude. Get in them YouTubes. Yeah, get, sign up on there. Get up in Watch our, every video. Get in our tube. You get inside your own tube, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get them in our tube. Ah, uh, well, you know what I want? I want you to start out the 100th episode with a bomb story for the fans. <laughs> yeah, okay. You bring all the good stuff, dude. All right, so with the precursor of we are going to attempt to not talk about that which About the situation. Voldemort, Jonas, is what we're talking about. We're not going to talk about Voldemort. You can't say his name or he comes and gets you. Kinda okay. Like, kind of like Candyman. Oh, dude, I can't wait for the new Candyman. Anyways. All right, so Jonas, uh, you bought toilet paper, right? At one time in my life, I did. No, you know, like recently. Yeah. You bought, yeah. You bought something. I mean, did, actually, it was like quite a ways ago, a while ago. Did you buy like more toilet paper than you needed no. when you went out and bought toilet paper? No. So you weren't one of them? Nope. Well, apparently, this has uh, manufactured a bit of a shortage. In some bureaus of America. Um, in California, Jonas. Yeah. California, Florida. Ooh, doggy. Yeah. People have been flushing other things than toilet paper, which is water soluble. And thus have caused a major leak. Septic in, nightmare. In one of their sewer lanes. Lines. Sewer. Sewer line? Yeah, sewer lines. Yeah, sure. Workers had to detour the blockage to avoid a massive spill they'd, of sewage. They had to detour sewage? Yeah. That seems like someone would spill regardless. So if you didn't have toilet paper, what would you use? Flushable wipes. Yeah, you even say that those aren't good, Jonas. They're saying that the flushable wipes ain't doing it, man. They're yeah, no, no. Um, let's see. If I didn't have... I mean, that's what you say you would use. No, no, so I'm the... a liar. <laughs> I don't have those. You don't, you don't have any of those? If I... Let's see. If I was out of toilet paper... Tampons. I, I would not use a tampon to wipe my butt. <laughs> my... My Tom Selleck shaped bidet. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I'd probably use... Uh, first, first thing I'd probably be tissues. Yeah, tissues aren't good either, though. Yeah, Apparently, no. like, like none of that. Well, Nothing is really good. No. Well, it seems that either one or a couple individuals in this part of uh, California have been using shredded up t-shirts. Oh! I mean, honestly, Jonas, when I think of comfort, a shredded up t-shirt sounds perfectly fine. But why fine. wouldn't you just wash it instead of flushing it? Reusable. Because you don't want to put poop in your washing machine. You wash soiled clothes all the time. Where does the water go? What? Where does <laughs> what, the- <laughs> what water? In the washing machine, where does the water go? It gets, I've never it goes thought into about the this. Drain, which goes into to the sewer. Sure. You don't even know Where's where the water, water goes? that goes down the sink. Go. Well, that goes into the sewer for sure. So why would the washer water not go in the sewer? I'm just confused. It's like, it like if I was to put a pooped up t-shirt in the wash in the water in the washing machine. Yeah. Like, is the poop water just gonna, or does it like just chill in there or something? I don't know, Joe. It just seemed like a bad idea. Whenever I think of like putting solid waste yeah, into they have a like washing washable machine. diapers. Yeah, that's true. But whenever I think about pulling solid waste into, <laughs> like, I'm not going to empty my trash can into the washing machine. Yeah. So why would I put... You don't put a turd in there either. <laughs> well, essentially, that's what you're asking me to do. No. Yeah, it's tiny turds. 
You say I put tiny turds so in the washing machine. So when you wipe, machine. you have a tiny turd sitting on the... Do you not? Not in turd form? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, do you, what makes... How much, how much poop does it take to make a complete turd? It needs to be in a spherical type... You could a roll... A smear doesn't mean that it's... <laughs> Right. You ever you cut off a turtle head before and had to like yeah, just the, the have like a little? I don't know. This is a great way to start the hundredth episode. <laughs> get a though. little get a little worry stone. A worry <laughs> stone. <laughs> yes, I've had many a worry stones. <laughs> I just just <laughs> twirl them around on my fingers. Oh shit! Jesus, dude. Hey, you're not bringing the heat, Joe. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. This I'm, is heat. I don't. If the story is stupid. All right, somebody cut off T-shirts and <laughs> fucked up their sewer line. This is what I could find. People are dumb. All right, this is what I found, Jonas. <laughs> There's no news. This is very, and this is close. This is like teetering the line of talking about the situation. I know. Why'd you do that? So. <laughs> <laughs> this led to be known. I know. We're actively trying over here. So guess what? T-shirts clogging up the sewers. There you go, Jonas. There's my fucking story. And <laughs> now you want me to shit in the washing machine. <laughs> no, it goes to the sewer, right? Well, that, yeah, well, we might as well just use that instead of the toilet. All right, Duh. it's your turn. Have you ever kissed a woman <laughs> when she did I fucking hate you. <laughs> I was actually. <laughs> okay. I was. I right. was. I was gonna add more than that. Okay, I'm sorry. You, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I didn't. You're no. You're ready to hate on. No. I Have was. you ever tried to kiss a woman and she wasn't interested in the kiss? <laughs> yeah. Like, dude. like you're like, oh, I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna try to kiss this girl, and then she wasn't really. Oh, anymore. they do the reel back a little bit. Or they put their hand up. Ooh, no, dude. I've never had anybody put their hand up. <laughs> like, bow. Yo, that's disrespectful. <laughs> you put the fucking hand up on me, lady? That's real back, all right? Come on. <laughs> like, I don't have a problem. Yeah, you put the hand up. It's like, we ain't even cool. Like, I should, <laughs> like, like, we, who are you kissing? Like, random women on the subway? <laughs> I would expect somebody of that nature to put a hand up, but yeah, I get so you've gotten real back, right? What? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, or I've had uh, turn the cheek. Mm, get on the cheek. Yeah, the subtle one. Yeah, yeah. They try like, to play it off. I don't want to hurt your feelings too bad, but Ooh. I ain't want you to kiss my lips. <laughs> but uh, so have you? But have you ever kissed a girl with her consent? But she's like, "Hey, no tongue. We ain't going there." Uh, yeah, absolutely. And she said that ahead of time. I'm cool with that because I don't necessarily want a girl's tongue in my well, mouth. Well, yeah. Is so, that weird? You know, but like, so say a girl says, I don't want you to tongue kiss me, mm -hmm. and you try to stick your tongue in her mouth anyways. What do you think is a reasonable reaction to that? <laughs> I know the story. <laughs> I do. This is great, actually. Um... If you tell a girl not, I mean, if a girl tells you not to do something. Well, why don't you just take it on your, say you told a girl not to and she stuck her tongue in your mouth. What would you do? Oh, Jonas, come on, man. These you hands, take that tongue because you're a real player. No, nah, nah, no, nah, nah, fam, these, these, these hands is bisexual, Jonas. Excuse me? <laughs> I believe in equal lefts and equal oh, rights. Oh <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? I thought you meant that you will touch a penis or no, a vagina. No, Jesus Christ, Jonas, no. <laughs> Anybody can get these hands, all right? That's what I'm saying. In their act. No, Joan, it's not in a sexual matter. I'm I, saying it's that. You smack a bee if she does something that you didn't consent well, to? See, I don't know if I would say it like that, but it is assault. All right? Yeah. It is. It's In fact, it's battery, I believe. Not assault, but it is battery to unlawful touching or unwanted touching. Yeah. Is well, battery. this lady in Detroit, 52 year old woman, yep. told a man, do not stick your tongue in my effing mouth. Well, rightfully so. And he was like, yes, ma'am, I'll be a gentleman. He That's... gently slid his tongue in her mouth, and she bit an inch of that fucker off. She Just did. bit his tongue off. She did. And she ended up going to jail. Which or she, is... she didn't go to jail. She got charged with aggravated assault, mm -hmm. which is a misdemeanor up to a $1,000 fine and could face a year in jail. I doubt she served any time, though, because you're people like, I don't know. Judge, I told him not to do it, and he did it. So I bit his fucking tongue off. He fucking deserved it as far as I'm concerned. You don't, you don't breach consent, man. If she's willing to let you kiss her in the first place, and then you're gonna try to sneak a tongue kiss, come yeah. on, bro! Like you would have got there eventually. It'd be okay. So on the same note, Jonas, if I'm getting freaky with a girl and she tries to put a finger in my butt, I've told girls before, please do not do that. 
because it invokes like this this like primal action in me where I might do something like drastic to get your finger out of my butt. <laughs> and I don't know what action that may be because it's like my lizard it, brain activates and it's like that fight or flight kicks in. <laughs> right, you're like and I might smack your hand, I might push you down, I might swing. Whatever happens in that moment. Yeah, don't try to surprise me with a finger in the butt. Ask me. So I can just tell you no. Right, right. Don't surprise. Try to surprise me with that tongue. Yeah, I don't. Want, th- thank you. Fight or flight, man. Sometimes you bite. So yeah, fair enough. Yeah, man. And I'm coming off of just watching like a bunch of like, like justice served videos off of Reddit <laughs> too, where it's like this girl, a group of girls will be bullying this kid, and then the kid gets up and starts smacking the girls, and I'm just tossing my hands up like, well, they started hitting him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> justice. Is that a nice subreddit? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's people like acting a fool, and people like turn around and like. Yeah, I've seen some some guys hit women, and I'm a, dude, it's just like it's kind of justified. If you're just like smacking a dude, or you're like trying to attack a dude with a weapon or something, I'm just like, lady, <laughs> that whole being a woman thing only can carry you so far. Well, yeah, because I th- I feel like once you feel like you're in legitimate danger, or yeah. like someone's trying to harm you, yeah. On the do, same, do what you got to. On the same note, Jonas, if it's a woman bites off a, an inch of your tongue, what are you going to do? <laughs> Depends if I suck my tongue in her mouth without her permission. Is that what's going to be on your mind at that point? <laughs> well, it didn't say that dude attacked her. Uh, he'd probably be like, fucking yo. bitch. Yeah. I would, he, I, I'm sure he was mad at her, but he probably could have sure he he only mad. been mad at himself, though. She warned him. I think mad is an understatement when you come to biting off a piece of my body. But you know what? If he yeah. wouldn't have acted a fool. I mean, yeah, he's definitely to blame, but don't please don't bite off a part of me. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> please. It goes for you, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never would. <laughs> what you got, man? All right. Do you want the good one or you want the bad one? Uh, The bad one. Who? All right, you got it. I'll, I'll follow you up with a bad one. All right, Wait, so actually, biting up a tongue is pretty bad. Go ahead. You might know this one, actually. Right, I'm good, dude. Uh, so New York City. Yeah, I've heard of it. New York City, best salsa in the <laughs> land. <laughs> best salsa in Texas. <laughs> um, they uh, they got like some unemployment issues. We know about that. Yeah. It is so bad that it is to the point that the unemployment office had to actually start hiring people to deal with the influx of unemployment claims. 3.3 million. Yeah, I saw that. that I saw that there were so many unemployment claims that the unemployment office was hiring. How that, ironic is that? That is, that is crazy. Yeah. I watched this infographic on Reddit. It was like the history of unemployment claims. Yeah. And it was just like, dude, 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 dude. it was like, here's September 11th, and here's the, 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 and like all this stuff. Housing oh, yeah. market crash. And then it was like 2020. Boom. It was like 8,000 <laughs> times higher than any other time in history. That's crazy, man. Yeah. All right. I, I, like that, that was the bad one. That was uh, just a quick hit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking that we could take it somewhere. Uh, I got plenty. Have you, you ever applied for unemployment? I have not. You have not. I've never been on unemployment in my life. Never even been to the unemployment office. I have not. Never been on food stamps? As your not. mom. I think, my mom a, I think when I was a kid, we I was. Yeah, my mom tells me that we were, but I don't remember ever seeing Yeah, we I mean, I don't. When I was a child, I imagine we were. We weren't like destitute, but we weren't like. No, no we weren't. We weren't rolling in the dough. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't rich either, man. Uh. I don't know, man. I don't know how I would feel about it now. Yeah. I usually keep employed for a long time when I have a job. If, like, unless the, the job closes, obviously. Yeah. Like, most jobs that I've had, I've kept for a couple of years, at least. Yeah. In my current job, I've been at for almost a decade. <sighs> Better keep it, man. I plan on it now. <laughs> I plan on it now. I may not have planned on that about six months ago, but right now I'm like... Mm. Yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> Love this job. It's always good to have like a like a, a a solid foundation, man. And it's just unfortunate that not everybody has that. Yeah, it sucks, man. Dude, it, it really does suck because you know I don't really like corporate life, but those are the jobs that are somewhat secure. Yeah, because yeah. they're they're too big to die, too big to fail. Like a little mom and pop restaurant, you never know. What, yeah. what could happen to cause that thing to close. But, like, 
a corporation that has 10,000 employees that covers the entire country, you you know what I mean? They're probably going to be around for a bit. Yeah. And they're going to cut off the tail before they cut off the heads, right? Exactly. You know, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll be I'll be uh I'll be sure. <laughs> I'll be sure. Yeah, I'll be okay. sure. Fair enough. <laughs> so, have you ever got um have you ever got like a duplicate letter in the mail like someone goes to send you something and you get like two uh, or, or something like that double emails even somebody sends you two emails by accident if you're referring to the fact that i sent you two love letters that were exactly the same that's my bad <laughs> that was for you and president lincoln <laughs> but <laughs> you got both of them um i mean i guess but usually it's like those bullshit coupons but they stop sending those out as much in, anymore you yeah as well. yeah <clears throat> well there's a man in ohio near our hometown twinsburg Ooh. I know that. He, uh, he signed up for uh, his daughter to go to college, got a student loan for her. All right. Uh, he, he got notification from the post office that he had mail he had to come pick up at the post office. You better go get your mail. He went to go pick it up, and he had 79 bins of mail at the post office. Because this student loan company sent him 55,000 copies of the same letter. I've heard this story, too. Wow. Yeah, dude. That's nuts, dude. And to that's top it all nuts. off, everyone had the incorrect amount. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so basically what it said was that at the bulk rate of mail, which is like 18 to 20 cents, mm -hmm. it cost them Oh, about $11,000 to send him all these letters, not to count the cost of paper and the cost of envelopes. And it was all, it was basically throwing $11,000 in the trash Just because wasteful. not only that, it was the wrong amount. Just wasteful. Just Dude. wasteful. That's crazy. Could you imagine like any, like, like your car <laughs> payment, they accidentally send you 55,000 copies of your car. Statement. I would never go and get them. They would wheel that shit out, and I'd be like, "You can take that shit right back on in the back." I, well, yeah. If I would, if I would have like went to the post office and they brought out one bin, and I would have been like, "This is all from Loan US, Loan US, Loan." No. And then they bring out the second one. I'm like, "Just put that shit in the trash." No. Once they bring out a bin, I'm not looking through a bin. <laughs> I'm not looking through a stack of of letters like they're fucking comic books or records or some shit i'm not record i'm not digging in the crates <laughs> looking at my old mail are if you I, not no nah, dude i hate mail i do, fucking dude i've got everything gonna get rid of that shit mail <laughs> yeah all my bills are electronic <clears throat> yeah well mine but yet aren't, the electric but bill still are. comes paper for even though i said not to and I also, I don't know if you know this, but you can go online and get on, basically it's like the do not call list, but for spam mail, like credit cards, insurance companies, yada, yada. I thought it was on that, but I've moved around. It, well, so it only, much. it only lasts for like five years, uh, I think, or something like that. that but I do it. it, but I've noticed that like when the five years is up, I start getting a shitload of it. And then I go back on the site because yeah. you can do, I think a permanent forever. And I never want to do that in case like something cool is going to start coming in the mail. <laughs> what cool is going to start coming in the mail? I don't know, dude. What if, they, what if they said a Nigerian prince wanted me to save his father? <laughs> You'd be better off getting a real Nigerian prince in the mail. <laughs> Just mail me a Nigerian prince. Yeah. Fair. All right, Jonas. This is this is my good one, all right? All right, cool. I I saved can... this one for last. Ooh, I got a couple left we can touch on. Saved this one just for you so Ooh. this is uh just for me wow yeah dude this is tim wilson jonas okay tim wilson i do not remember where this guy is from because i did not write it down he's from florida he is from florida we'll say tim wilson is an asshole jonas <laughs> you know what yeah i know a lot of assholes you you have one as well yeah i've, I've seen a couple yeah <laughs> i bet you have sir <laughs> Uh, Tim Wilson is a piece of shit, 36 years old, <clears throat> and uh, he was a white supremacist. All right, Jonas. Oh, he's, he's all right. He was all right, white power. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. I'm not, <laughs> and won't. Thanks. I would hope not. <laughs> never worth worth it, never come out my mouth. <laughs> all right, he, he hated him an N-word so much, Jonas, that he... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Right. What? I'm bringing the heat. Dude, I told you to bring some good shit. I could Andro. say the whole thing, but I choose not to. Right. All right. So he hated him an N-word so much, Jonas, that he was like, you know what? Hated. 
I hate them. Oh, no, Andy hated gays too. Okay. Don't let me give you. Oh, of course. I mean, how could you? How could you <laughs> hate without hating on gays? Yeah, this hate is bisexual. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> he's like, I hate races <laughs> and sexual orientations. <laughs> well, Mr. Tim Wilson had a plan to fly to the Ukraine. <laughs> From the U.S.? Yeah. Okay, all right. So. And he was going to fight with, essentially, which is a, like a alt-right group in the Ukraine. But oh. they're, they're more militarized, I guess. Okay, they're like a militia. <laughs> yes. And he had plans to convince them to uh, kill Beto O'Rourke. <laughs> like, wait, he's, like the guy who like was going to run for president? Jonas, he's gay. Beto O'Rourke is? Beto O'Rourke is, isn't he? I don't know. No, Buddha gig is gay. Yeah. Isn't Beto gay? I don't think so. I don't know, dude. I don't know enough about that. Right. Anyways. But I think ba I think Beto O'Rourke might have had like a... Uh an agenda that was beneficial towards uh, LGBTQ. Or I think you, yeah, I believe that. I believe that that's the case. I don't know for sure. So you see how I got that LGBTQ plus out there? Yeah, you got yeah. the plus in there. LGBTQ. Frick. All right. Anyway, um, well, that plan kind of fell through. Really? Because something like that would go wrong. Yeah, because of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he couldn't do that. Oh, due to the situation, he couldn't go. Yeah, this is recent. Oh, like he was going to go, but he was like, oh, now I can't fly to Ukraine. Jonas, all my stories are within the last week. Uh, the, the the toilet paper, uh, the t-shirts, that was this week. <laughs> all right. Oh, but Sever, this is coming out in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Okay, it's going to yeah, be like true. Future Man news. Well, this was, it was recent at right. the time we recorded it. Um, So he decided that because he could not make his trip and... He said, you know what? I see these hospitals have a lot of people in them. I think I'm going to make a car bomb and blow up a hospital. Oh, so if you can't, if you can't hurt gays and races, <laughs> just kill everyone in a just, medical field. So he decided to, oh. he was going to do that. Well, he, um, let me guess. I didn't go well for him. No, he went to go buy the, 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 uh, car bomb paraphernalia <laughs> and it was an FBI sting. <laughs> Now, thwarted by the Fibby again. <laughs> God dang FBI. <laughs> uh, um, as he was being taken off, he, he had threatened that if any FBI agent uh, were to come on his property, oh, that okay. they better bring a lot of body bags. Oh. A shootout ensued, and uh, God rest his soul, Tim Wilson did not make it. Did, but not all the FBI agents were fine. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. I didn't. I didn't read to see if any FBI agents. I doubt they would name them anyway or anything. Usually, they would say if some were killed. But yeah, normally if yeah. it's like a standoff, yeah, the guy who's in the, the guy who's being the stood D. Oh, they're just gonna snipe you. Yeah, he just dies because they yeah. just un. They just either blow into the house and kill him, or yeah. they shoot through the wall. Or yeah, they're just gonna snipe you. They use like thirty caliber rounds and just shoot through his like half inch plywood. Yeah, with just... a sight that can see through walls. Right, they use an infrared sight and just shoot with a slug that'll go through a wall mm -hmm. and just kill him anyway. Yeah, because your shotgun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> your, you your house ain't reinforced for for got... FBI weapons. Mm -mm. All right, so. I, I want to talk about people getting their just due. Tim, he kind of got his just due. Yeah. Like what kind of due? <laughs> Mountain. Ooh. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> yeah. Morning due. So in India, I guess uh, cockfighting is a thing. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what they do is they give the roosters bunch of steroids and high protein diets to get them all buff mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They also did not know this till I read the story. Strap There's razors, razors to, to their, their wings <laughs> in feet too. in their feet. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was yeah. a man was pla a fifty five year old man was placing his cock in the circle to fight. Mm -hmm. He struggled, kicked a little bit, cut that motherfucker, and he died. What? It didn't say where he got hit, but wherever the razor got him. Dude, he got a, a jugular, or, it was, I mean an artery. Yeah, yeah. It, lethal, yeah. dead. So that he got his just comeuppance. And it said 12, a dozen other people were injured but didn't die. So what the fuck happened to these cockfights? That, that freaking chicken went crazy, man. <laughs> just trying to wrangle him in. He got 12, got 13 motherfuckers, <laughs> one death. That freaking chicken went crazy. Dude, that... Excuse me. That cock went crazy. Oh, Jesus. Dude, that's nuts, dude. Does that's this... what he gets, though, man. 
I mean, that's like when they talk about those stories where like a poacher killed an elephant and it fell on him and killed him. <laughs> like those are the kind of stories that like you're like, yeah. I, it's hard for me to have like that two way that two way street. Like, oh, he's making the chickens fight each other, but you'll eat like a bucket of their flesh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah dude. It's like a lifetime. Never mind. I'm gonna get into my vegan bag, and it's just like. Is it better for them to fight, or is it better for them to live in a cage until somebody, <laughs> until somebody just kills them and feeds them to me anyway? I was watching, I was watching uh, another podcast, and they were talking about uh, this one girl had grown up on a farm, and she was like, "So when they kill the chickens, they just like, it's like kind of like flip them around like a jump rope, and then they just like break their necks." Oh, that makes sense. And they were just talking about how they do like ten at a time. And how it was just, like, so nonchalant for them to just, like, twist their necks around and just, like, snap them like a... T and I was like, holy shit. This is, like, just soulless eyes just doing this. <laughs> it's you know? just like, God, tell little Timmy it's just time to kill the chickens. And I was yeah. like, is that really worse than that? So, yes, Jonas, um, I'm going to say it's unfortunate he died. <laughs> and it is unfortunate that he chose to fight animals because it is wrong. Absolutely. I love your PC. That's when you were talking about shit balls in your hands. Not long ago. Oh, worry stone. Oh, uh, worry stone. All right. I got two more quick hits that they'll definitely fit in this episode. All right, sure. Have you ever had a headache before? Jonas, I'm going to kill you <laughs> in your sleep. Did you hear that, Alexa? <laughs> she did. Re record that. So, <laughs> so when the murder happens. <laughs> there was a man. His name was, I don't remember, was, he only had his first name because he didn't want to be identified. Yeah. He was having a headache and feeling off for months. Ibuprofen. <laughs> right? He said that the headaches were super intense. They were very strong. So strong, they made him sweat from the pain. Ooh. And he would end up vomiting. Oh, that ain't a headache, fam. <laughs> what is it? Man? Yeah, like a tumor or something. <laughs> Fair. Sounds like something's like lying on your spine or... <laughs> You got some intracranial pressure. I'm he did. No, you did. <laughs> he, he had a motherfucking tapeworm in his brain. Ah, they did a scan. See? They said that that motherfucker was in there for probably ten years. Yeah. He, and they and they kind of tried to figure out where he may have got it. They think it went back to him eating undercooked pork in Mexico, oh like Jesus, like man. ten years before that or something. Funny thing about it is they said that in the, at the end of the story, it was like, his sister found one in her brain years before. And I'm like, if you were having fucking headaches, wouldn't you have thought that maybe, like, you had that too? Oh, my sister was having headaches and puking years ago. She had a tapeworm in her brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, you wouldn't think they were hereditary. They, ba they both went to Mexico and ate the pork together. Oh, uh, I thought they just had dirty parents. Oh, that could have been it too. Yeah. But yeah. no, it was not Fecal dirty parents. Mm, that's pinworms. Yeah, so yeah, I thought that was fucked up. So That's kids, up. if you're having uh, if you're having brain issues to the point where you're vomiting, there's probably a bug in your head. There might be a bug in your dome. Dude, that's like, have you, you've seen that show, right? Bug in your dome? <laughs> no, not the bug in your dome. The show where they have like uh, the creature inside of me. I've I haven't seen that show, but I've seen, I've, I've read numerous stories about people with like spiders laying eggs in their ears, uh! <laughs> like. All right, dude, next story. <laughs> Why'd you ask me about seeing it? I don't know. <laughs> and I bring it up and you're like, ah! I don't know. All right, I got the final one. All right. You ever been hungry for some pussy? <laughs> Jonas, you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's so funny? What's I that? swear to God, I was riding home in my car <laughs> from freaking work because I have an essential job. Thank you. And... <laughs> Fucking, I was like, dude, when we record the podcast, I swear to God, I'm just going to ask Jonas first off. I'm like, Jonas, how do you eat pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just come out with that. Wow. But that is great. Yes, Jonas, <laughs> I have been hungry for some pussy. So there was a man in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Florida. Do you like use the whole tongue, like the flat of your tongue? Do you have a technique? I am not getting into cunnilingus you with you on the you podcast. Wanna, you want to share like nah, dude, books? I'm good. I got a whole playbook. Do you? <laughs> That's cool. We'll leave that for episode 102. Okay. He was hungry for some sex. Absolutely. He was starved for some attention from a woman. Give me that. He was like, I'm going to pay for some motherfucking sex. Hey. You know? Every, everything's got a You know, price. I saw, actually, tangent, I saw an article recently somewhere saying that more than 50% of Americans that they've polled are in favor of legalizing sex work. Like, more than ever. Yeah. And, like, because I think it's because, like, 
like uh, cam cam modeling and like all that kind of stuff is becoming way more like prominent. But I think that's people just are like taking it to the next level. Yeah, but I think people are starting to realize that like if you can re- just like anything else, like if you can regulate it, it may not be that bad if it's legal. It, it would probably it's like mm. when they legalize marijuana, it would automatically make illegal drug dealers less profitable because if you cannot have to go through the shady guy down the road, you can just go to the store and buy it. Dude, so what we just so we just, is if uh, it, there's going to be prostitutes out there regardless. So if it's if it's legalized and it, it's regulated and they're tested and you know they're clean and they're using protection, all I, the illegal ones who may not be clean out there, people I, will just go to the store and get their get their sex. I, I just go to the store and pick up a bag of pussy. <laughs> Jonas, the thing is, I, I don't know. I don't. We're having we haven't even legalized marijuana, and that shit is basically like. It, it, like people are just like, please just do it at this point. Yeah, it's getting to the point. So yeah. I don't know if that is. <laughs> That's going to be the next thing after That's... after uh, after weed. <laughs> Pe- people are going to start clearing room for sex work, dude. Uh, I mean, I sure, I guess, dude. I mean, I'm gonna let the next generation handle think... that because I'll be gone before that. Happens. Oh, probably. But do you think that people are against legalizing it because they don't want their children to strive to be paid sex workers, like? Did you hear about Steven Spielberg's daughter? No, what happened? Did you hear about Lawrence Fishburne's daughter? What are they? Are they prostitutes? Both of them decided to be porn stars. Steven Spielberg's daughter. Like. Steven Spielberg. They're like, oh, I'm just going to get in some porn. Yo, I'm not a father, Jonas. Would you anyway. rather have your daughter be a porn star or a paid sex worker? Like what a the prostitute? fuck is the different? One's on film, one isn't. Oh, oh my God, Jonas! <laughs> Neither <laughs> can I just kill her? <laughs> wow! And be over with it? Can I just go to prison? Hot takes today. Hey, fuck it, Jonas! You're bringing the fire for Hundo. Oh man, it's, I don't know. I don't know the pain that it would take. Uh, the only comment that they got from Steven Spielberg is that he was fascinated by her choice. Fascinated? I'm sure that's the that's the conversation. <laughs> Sat down with his daughter, honey. I'm fascinated that you're gonna spread your camera, spread, spread your stuff on camera. Yeah, there's a couple out there, man. You can see some stuff. Yeah. Um. So anyways, so this man, he he really wanted some vagina. Yeah, of course. He goes to a to a lady uh, of the night, maybe of the day. I'm not sure what time of day this was. He says, "Please, can I put my penis inside you?" Mm-hmm. She says, "Sure thing, honey. It'll be X amount of money." And he goes, "Listen." I don't get paid till Friday. <laughs> can I get your phone number? Can I get an IOU? He li- he goes, can I get, can I pay you on Friday? I just need your phone number. To which, to which the ladies happened to say, <clears throat> I happen to notice that you're carrying a, a, a brown sack that says chilies to go. He was hungry. You yeah. said he was hungry. Yeah, he, right. He goes, well, well, yeah, I got a burger in here. She goes, I'll tell you what. I'll take that burger for payment for our sexcapade. Yo, that's a discount. He says. <laughs> Barter system. Okay. Barter system. They arrest him and take him to jail. It was a sting. Oh, what the fuck? He got fucking arrested for offering to pay for sex with a hamburger. He agreed to terms to pay for sex, but the, the, the fucking money was a hamburger. That sucks. What a fucking story, man. <laughs> He's I like, guess you if it's ever too good to be true, it's probably too good. Oh yeah, dude. That was like uh yeah, that's like uh just yeah, it's like when you get like a like a random email like, "Oh, there's hot girls in my area. They want this guy's got to click on this website." <laughs> <That> virus. <laughs> right. It's like I was just like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" That's nuts. But look look at the fucking wherewithal of that cop to be like, "Oh, I'll get this dude anyway. Can I you want to sell me you want to use your cheeseburger for for compensation?" <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Oh, for real?" <laughs> He's like, "Wait, can I take a bite real quick? I am hungry." <laughs> <laughs> and they arrest him anyways. <laughs> Little does she know, I ate all the fries. <laughs> I ate the. I already ate the pickles off that bitch. So, dude, so we made it. We did it. Hundred episodes, man. Yay. Do you have? Does anything come to mind out of all hundred episodes that would be like a moment that, like, you're like, I like this story. I like when this happened, or any. Just real quick before we go. 
every time. Don't fucking every time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does anything <laughs> stick out? Any story that remember that you remember? Every single time that we sit down in these in these chairs. And we converse with each other. And you stare into my eyes. <laughs> As friends, Jonas, I cherish every single moment. Yes. And I, and I mean that. So, so what? I know the dolphin story I, scarred you forever. I, I know I come across very uh, sundary, 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 but I, I do. Okay. I don't know, dude. Yeah, dude. All a lot of it. I don't, yeah, dolphins, fucking Fermi pro prophecies, fucking like Christmas, uh, evil Christmas guys that we talked about. Oh, yeah, we did talk about evil Christmas, didn't we? Yeah. That was I liked cool. interviewing the. Uh, New Cam Girls. And uh, K Cutta and Darren from Gold. We interviewed some people. Yeah, don't forget the fucking international gold miner. Oh, dude. I wonder how he's doing. His Sweet. crypto's probably <laughs> banging. <laughs> dude. Woo! We dodged the bullet there. Melody Pang. That was an MLM if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah. I should reach out to Melody. See how she's doing. She's not gonna have sex with you. I don't want that. No. Okay. I was just gonna reach out and say hi. Which is making sure you knew. I I'm a hundred percent cool with that. <laughs> six feet. All right. <laughs> six, six feet away. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I uh. Yeah. I've enjoyed doing what we did. We had a couple the pod couple. We did episodes with yeah. Johnny White Trash, mm. Super PP Time guys. Yeah, Beardy man. Five Guys. I had a lot of fun messing around with the people we fucked around with on this podcast. There's been some good times, man. There has been. So, but all right, everybody, that is all the time we have for the 100th episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. Yep. We did it. Uh, please make sure to, to go subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. We did it. We can do that. We got here. We did it. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, your grandma's house, all that shit. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We. Oh, oh. oh. oh.